Hey guys, it's Pia here. Welcome to another custom collection video. Uh, I'm really excited about this one because in this video I'm going to show you all my fairy customs, uh, most of which I've made based on you guys' suggestions uh, in my fairy challenge that I had a while ago. Uh, I finally completed the last fairy, so I thought I'm just going to show all of them to you together and I'm also going to tell you which ones will be up for sale, or actually are currently up for sale um, when I'm posting this video. And yeah, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the inspiration and all that, so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get to it. So the first custom that I made for the fairy challenge uh, was this um, kind of forest guardian um, inspired by moths. Um, I really love her design. The colors came from a certain moth that I found that I thought looked really cool. Um, I wanted to give her a flower crown because I wanted her to just be this very woodsy and natural looking creature and I adore her. She is probably one of my favorite customs that I've ever made. Um, someone suggested that I should name her Joy, which I thought was a great idea. They said that I should name it Joy because, um, you know, you guys give me lots of joy and inspiration. So I thought that would be lovely because this is just kind of a, a custom that really shows that you guys really, really inspire me. And I get a lot of joy from posting my creations here and getting kind of comments and ideas from you guys. And that's why I thought it was a great idea. And also I'm keeping her because she's my reminder that you guys are awesome and you give me lots of amazing ideas that I can then turn into these little creatures. <laughs> so the second fairy that I made uh, was this baby fairy. Um, I know a few people didn't really like her design. Um, I don't mind. I think she's super cute. Um, her colors were kind of just inspired by these like typical baby colors like pastel pinks and baby blues and pastel yellow and all that. Um, her hair looks super yellow in this video, but it's actually a really, really light yellow in real life. So the colors are kind of off on my video. Um, but yeah, she will not be for sale because I'm probably going to give her to someone very special soon. But um, yeah, that's it for her. Um, the idea was just, I know that some people didn't like her design. That's totally fine. Um, the idea with the fairy challenge was just to make completely separate fairies out of all of them and make them as individual as possible and I think that I managed to do that. Um, she's also carrying this little cat plushie and I thought it's super cute and the pacifier in her mouth is actually one of my favorite details on her. I think it looks super cute. But yeah, not for sale. So the third fairy that I made for this challenge uh, was this goth fairy. Um, People wanted to see something slightly darker, not so cutesy, um, and I thought, why not? That would be cool, because fairies are usually viewed as this pretty creatures, and I thought, let's make something more dark in that case, because that's what you guys wanted to see. Um, she is actually up for grabs on eBay currently, um, but yeah, I hope that she finds a new home, and her listing is on eBay until next Sunday, or, well, this week Sunday. Um, the things I love most about her are these little... Um, skeleton or skull highlights in her eyes and the little stitches on her. I think she's quite adorable. So the fourth fairy that I made was more of a mythical creature one. Um, she has armor on her and she has angel wings. Um, I call her Ares, not because of the zodiac sign, but because um, it's a cool name. <laughs> I also thought that these horns would be... Originally they were supposed to be ram horns, but I couldn't be bothered to sculpt them because it would have taken a long time. Um, so that would have made it an even better name for her, but, you know, these horns are fine and I just call her that. And she's actually also up for grabs on eBay currently, along with the goth fairy. Um, her name was Nocturne, I forgot to say that, but yeah. Um, currently available on eBay. Looking for a good home. Please adopt me! <laughs> Next up we have my ocean fairy. Um, ocean fairy was requested a lot, or any sort of aquatic creature, so I thought let's make one like that. Um, I call him Neptune. Um, he has a lot of little details on him that I also really love, like this tail with all these little scales. Um, hope you can see them. And of course this octopus. I think it looks super cute. And yeah, he is also up for grabs on eBay currently. Um, by the way, if you guys um, would rather think that she's a girl, if you do adopt him, um, that's totally fine by me. Uh, I wouldn't be offended. Um, I do think that, you know, this character could be either a boy or a girl. And since I have so many girl characters, I just thought I'm gonna refer to it as a him. But you guys can choose to do whatever you want to if you do adopt him. So yeah. <laughs> 
And finally, the final custom for the fairy challenge is my little galaxy fairy. Um, I call her Nova. That's someone or a few people suggested that and I thought it's a cool name. Um, she is also up for grabs on eBay if you are interested in adopting her. Um, please note that these listings are only open until Sunday this week. So if you're watching this video a little bit later, chances are that they have found new homes or at least that's what I'm hoping. But yeah, if you want to give her a new home, please check out my eBay. It's in the description. And here's actually a little bonus custom that I made. Uh, it wasn't part of the fairy challenge, but it is made from an LPS fairy base figure. So I just thought I would show it to you. Um, this one is called Pixie. She's a dream fairy. Um, she's something that I made for our collaboration on Instagram called Lilith Customs. We had a dream theme, so I thought I would make something that's really pretty. And the concept with her which was just that um, she's this creature that brings you really good dreams, um, tries to give you good dreams instead of nightmares, but sometimes she's forgetful and that's when you have nightmares, but yeah. Uh, she's actually just a simple repaint, so she was just... Well, I thought the base figure was so cute that it didn't need anything sculpted on it, so I thought I would just paint it. Uh, she is not for sale. I don't know if she ever will be because I might be using her in some series at some point because she's very cute and she could well be a character in some series in the future but yeah uh that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it um hope you guys don't mind that i do talk a lot but i think it's important to tell you all the inspiration and stuff because that might give you ideas if i never told you what inspired me then maybe you guys wouldn't be getting as many ideas for your customs so i'm just hoping that you know you don't get super annoyed at it and that you instead embrace it and maybe you can come up with something cool as well inspired by it but yeah, um, please note that all of these are my original characters, my original designs, so do not copy something completely. Um, if you're making a fairy and you want to do a similar design, that's totally fine, but please don't copy it down to the smallest details. Um, I hope that we can all respect each other as artists and just do our own things and be inspired by each other. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and see you again tomorrow. Bye!